welcome to my channel. Let's talk about an evaporating dish or a china dish. It is why it is called china dish because it is made up of china clay. Now it is made up of now the glass that is used for making it is a borosilicate borosilicate glass. Um, basically, it's porcelain. And it, what are its uses? Uh, okay, first of all, I should tell you what it has got another name also. Some people also call it, or in the literature, you will find it uh, named as a watch glass. So basically, it's uh, an evaporating dish. It has a wide, you know, you can see wide area. So it will, um, I mean, helps to evaporate the solvents or reduce the solvent level like this. You can see the water. For example, you can take the example of water. Now, if I need to reduce the volume, if it is of uh, almost five or 10 to six ml, if I need to reduce it over the flame, I can simply reduce it easily because uh, uh, the chance in, in it has all the chances to get the liquid escape and it won't condense back and fall back to the to, to this uh, water level and uh, resulting that the this, this solution will be reduced in a very uh, little time. So basically it is heat resistant container used in the labs basically and it's shallow wide for evaporating different solutions. It is also, as I've mentioned, used to reduce the certain level of solvents to get precipitates. Yes, if you will simply reduce the volume, definitely you are, you will have the aim to get the, achieve the uh, something that is of course the precipitates or the crystals. Now its capacity is mostly small, that is between 3 to 10 ml. Um, as wider or huge dishes are used for large scale purposes, uh, that is around 100 ml flasks or 100 ml, uh, th these are used for the large scale. But for small scale uh, processes, we need mostly this in the labs. And uh, it has got, uh, I mean, uh, it, these are found in different shapes too. We use uh, the China dish for quantitative analysis mostly in preparing, for example, Lessing's filtrate or sodium extract. Uh, we use it to boil the extract uh, to reduce the volume to its half of, uh, half of its volume. And to get, I mean, then the filtrate is filtered off. We use this uh, China dish for the, I mean, preparation in the preparation of Lessing's filtrate two so whereas the shape of evaporating dish now the if you talk about the shape of this evaporating dish it helps to progress evaporation because why uh in different ways like it is basically flat it is flat right it has a flat surface i pour it back it has a flat surface right so it helps to evaporate solvent easily as compared to the other glass apparatus as compared to this beaker uh, or if uh, any other flasks or conical flasks. Uh, what will happen in that uh, case that some portion of the solvent to be evaporated will get back, uh, will get the chance to escape and return or condense back um, into the same container, right? And in that sense, we will not be able to achieve our goal that is to reduce the volume. The volume will be, I mean, this remain this almost the same as it is uh, condensing back. The solvent is condensing back to the um, container, whereas the china dish is different. Uh, it is basically used for evaporating the solvents more, much more easily. We should avoid swirling or stirring we should not this is a glass rod do not stir or swirl swirl it because uh, as the solution in this dish while heating as has low walls the walls are very low and chance to spill the solvent during an experimental process you can simply if you will simply um, swirl it with the help of this uh, like this you will spill it like this see if you are swirling or you are stirring it no rough stirring, no swirling. So if you swirl it, see how it's uh, it's spilling, right? Your solvent will spill. Or by stirring roughly, you will. So you do not need to do all this. You simply stir it with a glass rod slowly, very softly, soft strokes. 
So if you, you need to swirl very softly or slowly when you are dealing with this china dish because the harsh swelling or the, I mean, um, um, stirring of the solution in this dish will cause what will happen. It, the solution will be spilled. And you can see here half of the solvent is spilled on the table. It is on the table, right? So uh, do not you. It, it's better to avoid using, I mean, the stirring rods, the glass rods uh, for simply uh, swirling the solvent that is contained in this china dish. So uh, this is a very useful, I mean, uh, uh, part of our lab as uh, mostly in organic chemistry, we need to reduce a lot of uh, solvents from our uh, during the preparation of any organic compound uh, you need to uh, evaporate if you are not getting the crystals or precipitates you are looking for you will simply reduce the volume of the solvent and in that sense this container is used or this jana dish can be used it can be used to i mean simply um, reduce the volume and as you reduce the volume in a very short period of time you will be able to reduce all the volume and what you will be left with you will be left with a lot of precipitates in the end so i hope you like this short review of uh, this uh, evaporating dish or china dish um, today as i found it and i thought that i must share my experiences of using this uh, china dish with you my viewers with my students because as in a beginner's level in the very you know you know in initial stages you don't know what is the purpose of this dish so now i have explained you multiple purposes of uh, this uh, evaporating dish which is made up of porcelain and uh, the glass that is used is borosilicate glass mostly and uh, it's flat and it helps to basically to evaporate solvents much easier rather than any other containers as flasks or as uh, beakers which i just showed you because in this as i've told you that it will it has a chance to uh, simply condense back and f uh, fall back into the solvent it will boil and it will condense back uh, it will just stick to the walls the vapors will stick to the walls when you start boiling in the beaker and they will simply again uh, drop back to the same container and in that sense this thing fails to evaporate as compared to this one this is much more more better for evaporation as compared to any other flask or a beaker or any other container so i hope you like this video today and you will learn and you will be able to uh, tell others what this evaporation evaporation dish is used for and why do we use it in our labs and in especially in chemistry labs what is its purpose what type of a glass it is made up of and how much ml it can um simply it can hold so thank you very much i'm professor dr moina akhtar mughal from dr mkazi institute of chemistry university of saint jamshiro thank you very much